And we've got trade war worries slamming markets this morning. China announcing retaliatory tariffs of 25% on crucial American exports. They include soybeans, airplanes, cars. The tariffs cover 106 U.S. products, affecting $50 billion worth of imports. The move coming less than 24 hours after the Trump administration said that it planned to slap a 25% tariff on Chinese imports as part of a crackdown on what the president is calling China's unfair trade practices. Dagan, yesterday, Connell McShane was with us. He said Beijing would be coming back for more. Is Beijing and Washington going to stop this situation before an escalating massive sell-off gets underway, which is what we see the beginnings of? And I'll point this out. As of the close Monday, you had the Dow and the S&P in correction territory, down 10 percent or more from the recent highs. The Nasdaq very close to that at the closing level. We've had Stephanie Pomboy on this program saying if we have a sustained decline of 10 percent on the markets, that wipes away the benefits of the tax reform. So this kind of back and forth, this tit for tat with China, whether, again, I think the markets were not prepared for this. I think that the markets were not, this seems, at least with the, the opening shot were the steel and aluminum tariffs. And remember, Peter Navarro said there will be no exceptions. And then there were all these exceptions in terms of our trading partners. It seems haphazard. It seems ham-handed. And I think that the markets are neat. If the White House is going to take on China, then they need to come out with a very serious, straightforward policy. And by the way, China hitting back with, with these retaliatory uh, tariffs, they're hitting soybeans. This mm. is very critical. Soybean of uh, Soy and hog producing states. President Trump won eight of the ten top soybean and hog producing states. This is also a political move. Yeah, it's also look at one of our one of our most important exports, and that is planes, jet engines. We want to look at companies like Boeing, among other plane makers and jet engines today. That's also on the list there in terms of these heavy tariffs. This is one of the most expensive items, big ticket items, and one of the most important exports of the United States. So you have potentially the jet makers, airplane makers, and the automakers hit by the steel and aluminum tariffs, potentially, depending on where they source, the, source their goods, and then also hit by China. Yeah. So, I, I, again, th this is what investors will be looking at today and in the coming days and weeks. What is going to be the impact on the stocks that I own, on the industries that I'm invested in well, from these policies coming out of the White House and China? We got a sell off across the board this morning, Chris Hogan. I know that you want to look long term to this mm. market, but there will not be a lot of places to hide this morning. No, it really won't. And, and I wanted investors out there to take a collective deep breath and really start to look at your portfolio. How are you invested? Are you diversified enough? And can you weather the storm? I mean, we can look at this. There's going to be more volatility, there are going to be more changes. You've got to understand your plan and what you're doing long term. Yeah. And Maria, I think you have to take a deep breath and get ready for some hiccups because yeah. they're coming. And they sure are. Look at Boeing day again, down 6% right now. You got General Motors down almost 4% there. Caterpillar down better than 4%. These are our leading exporters in the United States. These are the companies that will get hit by these tariffs. And I think you do have to throw on top of what the, the tariffs and the back and forth between the United States and China, you have to throw on t attacks directly from President Trump on Amazon that are unrelenting. If you have a problem with the deal that the Postal Service has with Amazon, then do something about it. You're the commander in chief. Yeah. Renegotiate the deal. You're the art of the deal maker, so get it done. But I think that, that, that hammering, that basically using the bully pulpit to hammer these businesses, it does not help. Yeah. It does not help sentiment in these markets. And Amazon keeps trading down. Technology right. also one of the big drivers for this market.